Hey everyone, Adam Simmons here from DGTL Infra, short for Digital Infrastructure. On this channel, we've given you some of the key differences between 4G and 5G in our video, The Truth About 5G, and also dove into a key 5G use case being autonomous vehicles in two of our prior videos. But autonomous vehicles are just one of the many new use cases that are emerging as part of the fundamental shift to 5G technology. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick overview of 5G use cases in 10 different industries. Specifically, we discuss 5G use cases in manufacturing, energy and utilities, public safety, healthcare, public transport, media and entertainment, automotive, financial services, retail, and agriculture. You might actually be able to see how 5G will provide breakthroughs to the industry you are working in or are most interested in. So stay tuned and I will break this all down for you. Before I do, be sure to subscribe to the DGTL Infra channel and turn on the notifications so you don't miss my next in-depth video that is coming out soon. Now let's jump into the video. So the first specific 5G use case that we'll touch on is manufacturing. And within manufacturing, we have manufacturing automation, which are industrial end devices like automated guided vehicles known as AGVs that are being used on 5G networks. The mobility management coverage and quality of service assurance of 5G networks provides the reliable communication needed for numerous types of automated guided vehicles such as tractors, pallet movers, and forklifts. For example, 5G can help forklifts more efficiently move around the factory floor in an automated manner. Next is remote robotic control, and 5G plays a major role in connecting production line robotics by providing connectivity for robotics, which removes the need for fiber and cable tethering. Additionally, 5G enables live remote monitoring of video streams for robotics, and 5G's lower latency enables remote control applications for robotics. The second industry affected by 5G use cases is energy and utilities. Within this industry, grid monitoring, control, and protection uses the 5G network to provide real-time, flexible routing of electricity flows depending on generation and consumption levels in different parts of the electrical grid. Additionally, oil rig production analytics is enabled by equipping oil wells with Internet of Things sensors. They are connected to the 5G network, which has the ability to send and receive data in real-time. This real-time sensor data from the oil wells can identify signals in the data to predict when the wells fall outside of the optimum production ranges. The third industry impacted by 5G use cases is public safety. In public safety, surveillance, which is a component of the smart city, uses surveillance cameras, including body-worn cameras, to transmit real-time, ultra-high definition and 360-degree video streams over the 5G network. These video streams are transmitted to a control room that can monitor busy public places and critical infrastructure. Additionally, within public safety, what is known as infrastructure management and maintenance is another use case where thousands of Internet of Things based sensors that are connected to the 5G network can be placed across infrastructure like major bridges. And these sensors can constantly monitor the vibrations caused by vehicles and trains that cross those bridges every day. Vibrations detected that are deemed abnormal could be the first sign that part of the bridge is not performing as it should, and an inspection crew would be dispatched to help with that bridge. The fourth industry which is affected by 5G is healthcare. And within healthcare, telemedicine is where remote doctor-patient consultation is done through a mobile device. This is the notion of moving simple consultations to be over the internet through video calls, which will often take place over the 5G network. Additionally, within healthcare, personal health systems are wearable devices used to monitor, diagnose, and treat chronic diseases. So we have devices like the Apple Watch and Fitbit, which will be increasingly connected to the 5G network in order to collect and analyze data about their user. In turn, this allows the healthcare to shift 
from being treatment-based to precautionary in nature. The fifth industry affected by 5G is public transport. And within public transport is high mobility connectivity. The signal strength in 5G facilitates greater mobility, allowing data to be transmitted to a device that is traveling at 500 kilometers per hour. This is equivalent to about 310 miles per hour. So 5G allows data transmission in use cases such as high-speed trains and autonomous drones that are traveling at these speeds of 500 kilometers per hour or 310 miles per hour. Next within public transport is passenger distribution. And this is where train sensors can identify empty cabins and send information back to the train platform over the 5G network to direct passengers to cabins which have capacity within the train. The sixth industry affected by 5G is media and entertainment. And within this industry, cloud gaming is being propelled massively. So cloud gaming is any game-based service where the game is processed remotely in the cloud instead of locally on a console or computer. The lower latency and faster network speeds of 5G will enable the remainder of gaming to move from the physical console, so think PlayStation or Xbox, to the cloud. And cloud-based gaming allows users to no longer be tied down to the physical location of their console. Some cloud gaming examples are GeForce Now by NVIDIA, Stadia by Google, PlayStation Now by Sony, Xbox Game Pass by Microsoft, Start by Tencent, Project Atlas by Electronic Arts, and Hatch by Samsung. Another use case within media and entertainment is augmented reality and virtual reality. This is increasingly used as event features for audiences and spectators such as replay, multiple angle viewing, and live sports betting. Indeed, various augmented reality and virtual reality services are linked to watching esports and supporting the gaming culture provided in the stadium. Latency reduction in 5G is especially important for new use cases like augmented reality and virtual reality because 5G reduces lag times in signals that could provide a literally dizzying experience for people if lag time were too much. An example use of augmented reality and virtual reality is in the League of Legends Park, which is an eSports stadium in the center of Seoul, South Korea, which receives more than 120,000 visitors per year. League of Legends Park visitors can view messages from other fans in augmented reality when pointing their smartphones in a specific location inside the stadium. Additionally, virtual reality is used for live broadcasting and playbacks, which are available during the games. The seventh industry affected by 5G is automotive. And within automotive, autonomous vehicles are one of the major use cases enabled by 5G. Specifically, cellular vehicle to everything, which is also known as CV2X technology, allows autonomous vehicles to connect to the 5G network and transmit data through vehicle-to-vehicle, -vehicle, known as V2V, vehicle-to-infrastructure, known as V2I, vehicle-to-network, known as V2N, and vehicle-to-pedestrian, known as V2P, technologies. On this channel, we made two earlier videos explaining the detailed role of 5G in autonomous vehicles. If you want to learn more, they are titled Autonomous Vehicles and 5G Technology, and autonomous vehicles and 5G infrastructure, which we'll also provide links to below this video. Another 5G use case within the automotive industry is what is known as fleet management. And this uses the 5G network to monitor multiple data streams in real time from vehicles, such as GPS positioning, speed, trip time, seatbelt use, fuel consumption, vehicle faults, battery voltage, and engine status. All of this data is collected and can be used to determine when vehicle parts need replacement or how to better manage drivers within the fleet. In turn, this real-time monitoring increases the safety and utilization of the vehicle fleet while lowering costs and improving fuel efficiency. 
The eighth industry affected by 5G is financial services. And within this industry, loan monitoring and collateral management is a critical use case. So loans that are made to people to purchase equipment can be incentivized in a manner that the equipment is properly maintained and used. For example, if a customer were to take out a loan to purchase a warehouse forklift and suddenly stop operating the machinery, this could indicate financial difficulty in that customer's business. Internet of Things-based solutions that are connected to the 5G network can help measure loan compliance and trigger a warning of pending default if the user of that forklift were to stop using the equipment or were to be improperly using the equipment. Another use case within the financial services industry for 5G are micropayments on assets. So for example, a financed vehicle, which is being used by the owner for a ride-sharing service like Uber, could earn income and automatically send micropayments towards paying off the loan after each trip that the driver undertakes. This relationship would give the lender more security and comfort that the loan was going to be repaid. And transaction data can be transmitted faster and more securely over the 5G network. Additionally, as more vehicles are connected to the network, 5G becomes important to process so many simultaneous transactions. The ninth industry affected by 5G is retail. And within this industry, geo-targeted advertisement precision greatly increases. So this is where better responsiveness through 5G will make geo-targeted offers more accurate and timelier. In 4G, device location relies on GPS technology, which can be precise within meters. Whereas in 5G, devices can be located and measurements taken within a couple of centimeters. An example of where geotargeted advertising is particularly relevant is in Iksondong, which is a neighborhood of Seoul, South Korea. Specifically, this is a trendy area with many popular cafes, restaurants, and shops that receives more than 80,000 visitors per month. The Iksan Dong community, which in terms of area is only about 500,000 square feet, provides services such as customer-centric discount coupons or promotion of discounts and events at local shops, cafes, and restaurants. This serves to stimulate this micro-local economy of small and medium-sized enterprises. 5G can facilitate more of this geo-targeted advertisement in these specific locations like Iksondong because of its precision in measuring location. Additionally, within the retail industry, another use case is shoppable videos. These are used to make purchases in videos, which could be live television programs, YouTube channels, or Netflix. So 5G offers more bandwidth to produce these shoppable videos, particularly on a mobile basis. So an example of this is The Bachelor is an American TV series with over 8 million viewers per episode. And it would be very powerful to click on a pair of shoes someone is wearing in the show and buy them instantaneously without any redirects or additional websites needed. The 10th and final industry affected by 5G is agriculture. And within agriculture is connected machinery. This is automated farming equipment, such as milking equipment or vehicles such as harvesting trucks that can be operated remotely by a central operator over the 5G network. Another 5G use case within agriculture are farming drones for monitoring. Drones monitoring fields, livestock, and autonomous machinery such as driverless harvesting trucks can send live, high-quality video streams over the 5G network back to a central control room for management. So that wraps up our quick overview of 5G use cases in 10 different industries. Hopefully you found this video helpful if you did, then please share it with somebody you think might also find it helpful. And consider subscribing to DGTL Infra and visit us at dgtlinfra.com for more of the latest news on digital infrastructure. Thank you for watching this video. Be sure to like the video and post in the comments telling me which 5G use case you are most excited about. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.